Hey everybody, this is Austin, aka Geocacher, Tian Photobug from Chattanooga, Tennessee, and right now I am in Ohio. Yes, that's right, folks, I am so excited. As some of you may know, I am a Seventh day Adventist, and today I am super excited that my family and I are headed up to Bowling Green, Ohio, just north of Bowling Green, to visit the very first Seventh day Adventist church, the site of the very first Seventh day Adventist church in Ohio. All that and much, much more is coming up on this edition of Historical Geocaching on the Road. just north of Bowling Green, Ohio, in a town that used to be called Lovett's Grove. I know it may just look like it's cornfields around here or other growing crops, but back in 1858, the Seventh-day Adventist by the name of George Holt saw this area as prime country to do some evangelism. And a few months after he came here, around 40 new believers were, were raised up, and in mid-March of that year, Two of Seventh-day Adventism's key founding pioneers, James and Ellen White, dropped in for a encouraging weekend visit. All were blessed by the White's visit, but all were saddened by the death of John Avery, the five-year-old son of community member William Avery. The funeral was scheduled for March 14, the day after the child's passing, in the Lovis Grove Schoolhouse, which, when it was still erected, still up, it was right behind me. And James White was invited to give the give the sermon for the funeral and did so to an overflowing congregation. And then Ellen White, his wife, was impressed to give her testimony as she was excitedly talking about the second coming of heaven, all sorts of the other exciting things that she was talking about. God gave her a vision. As a denomination, Seventh-day Adventists believe that Ellen White meet all of the biblical criteria for a prophet, including receiving enlightenment from God in the forms of visions and dreams. Not to supersede the Bible, but to, but to uphold what it says. But this was not any ordinary vision. Rather, it was at this time that God decided to give Ellen White a grand sweeping overview of the history of this earth, of the great controversy between good and evil, um, all the way down through the close of time when Christ comes again. God told Ellen White to write out in a book what she had seen, and the result of that directive was the book, Spiritual Gifts, Volume 1. Rather than being a dense, comprehensive volume, Spiritual Gifts, Volume 1 is a very fascinating and readable short book, and it, Mrs. White focuses on a few key parts of this earth's history, the um, Garden of Eden and the Fall of Man, Christ, ministry, death, and resurrection, a tad bit of Advent's history, and the end times. She concludes with some glorious word pictures of what heaven will be like. If you would like to read Spiritual Gifts Volume 1 for yourself, it is free and online, and I will put a link to it in the video description below. I do find it interesting that God would give Ellen White a vision in the middle of a funeral, but then again, that's just like God to give something happy and encouraging right in the middle of tears and sadness. So here, also here at Lovett's Grove, just north of Bowling Green, Ohio, is a historical marker of the first Seventh-day Adventist Church in Ohio. Let me read the marker to you. Elder Oliver Mears organized on February 8, 1862, in a tent on this spot. Then a walnut grove owned by William Lovett, the Lovett's Grove Seventh-day Adventist Church, first in this denomination in Ohio. A frame building erected in 1864 served the congregation until 1911 when it was moved to its present location in Bowling Green. Really cool to be at the site of the first Seventh-day Adventist Church in Ohio. 
Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me visiting some awesome Ohio Adventist history. I know that I certainly enjoyed visiting the site of the very first Seventh-day Adventist church in Ohio, as well as the site of where Mrs. White had one of her more major visions. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. And if you want to learn more of fascinating Seventh-day Adventist history, you have definitely come to the right channel. Over the last year plus, I've had the incredible opportunity to travel the nation filming Seventh-day Adventist historical sites, one of which being Ellen White's birthplace in Gorham, Maine. So if you would like to see that video, be sure to check it out. I'll put it in the video description below and also as an annotation at the end of this video. So thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out more of my videos at youtube.com slash tnphotobug. And until next time, this is Geocacher TN Photobug signing out. I am indeed having a blast with the past.